You see, there's a different way, even with these congressional hearings. We realize this official is trapped in a world without God, a world with, well, much to be desired. And he's caught in this trap. And he's pragmatically doing what he can to rescue himself in life's, his life's position. And he's blocked on the terrible consequences this system has for others. And he can't get out of it. And our condemnation is anything but blessing him. We become part of this miserable enemy that's wrecking his peace and joy and threatening all that he longs for. When we realize he's a victim, we understand why he's acting the way he is. Our heart goes out to him instead of condemnation. We wish to rescue him and all those who are being harmed by the system he is in. We might advise him that he can't put this, if he can't put this right, he should step aside. Someone else will be appointed to try and put it right. And if they don't succeed, which is highly likely, they will be condemned, and if we're not careful, by us for not succeeding. This is not the way we wish to go. I will encourage him to do all that is good. If he can't, from his understanding, make it better, then yes, we suggest that he should resign his position. But we understand his dilemma and he may not feel that that's right. That he's not to blame. He's the victim of a system that condemns him and he needs rescue. We, as his inquisitor, may not be able to rescue him. But we don't have to condemn him either. We just express our concern for those who are being harmed by the way circumstances seem to be. and trust in him that he will put right what he can put right and will ask us if he thinks we can do anything to help. You see, we come alongside to rescue not over to condemn. You have to say that for the bulk of people that don't know God, don't love God, don't want to know and don't think of God, God does not overshadow them and dominate and insist and press. They don't even know he exists. He's that absent in that regard. And yet the very world and universe they live in couldn't exist. But for his thoughts, it's all thought 
this entire vast universe is quite simply the thoughts of God. And we trust that we are experiencing the show of things that we call reality. And he knows to be a dream, just a thought, but to good purpose, that we may come to wish to avoid evil like the plague and embrace goodness as our eternal friend. It's as simple as that. That's the reason for it all. So with compassion and understanding and sympathy, we come into a situation where we see the unloved, the cause of all sorrow. But the victims do not. And we would with all our heart to rescue them, but we have no need. For God is more able and is far more ahead of us than we are in his love and care of all that he has made. And if that is not so, there is nothing but despair. So we trust that it is so. This is my choice. And I'm taking it. <laughs> Very reasonably. <laughs> Because the alternative is sheer hell. Bless you, and you are blessed. Love you, Dad. Thank you, Heavenly Dad. <laughs>